हेलो गाइस हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड यू आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी बैराना इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव डन द लैब फॉर स्टैटिक एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन व्हिच इज स्टैटिक नेट एंड वन टू वन एड्रेस मैपिंग बिटवीन लोकल एंड ग्लोबल एड्रेसेस एंड इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डू अ लैब फॉर डायनामिक एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन व्हिच इज डायनामिक नेट एंड इट इज मेन टू मेनी एड्रेस मैपिंग बिटवीन लोकल एंड ग्लोबल एड्रेसेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर लैब फॉर टुडे एंड गाइस इफ यू हैव एनी कंफ्यूजन अबाउट द डायनामिक एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन my recommendation is to watch this video because i will do this lab with all the available option in the dynamic address translation very briefly okay so please uh, like and subscribe this channel and if you like this video don't forget to drop your message my topology is same as from day first except i have just added some of the devices on my outside zone to make the lab for dynamic address translation and for static nat okay so ip addresses are same as the previous lab so uh, let's review a quick review regarding my current configuration my network is already configured uh, with the ip addresses on the interfaces okay so another thing uh, my routing is already configured as ospf and my topology is full mesh i can show you over here that neighborship is already uh, already available as a full state in the neighbor my state is full okay with the ospf configure with my directly connected neighbor in the uh, dnz and uh, in the distribution which is my trusted zone and uh, let me open my lab section for today i'll go in the policies in the policies in the security side this is from inside to outside my all subnets which are under my inside or trusted zone is already allowed from source to destination to outside okay which is with any address because this is my internet traffic and internet is always uh, point to any network as a destination same thing for the dmz to outside these are my dmz uh, subnets three subnets in the dmz zone which already allowed to go outside okay as a any now come to our net in the net side i have from dmz to outside the source i already configure as dnc destination i make it outside with ethernet source and destination address any any okay for the net side and uh, in the source address translation at present it is dynamic ip and port okay and uh, hit count i will make it reset this is reset now okay same thing uh, from inside to outside i just mentioned my zone and destination and source address i make it any any because i want to make it nat from inside to outside okay so let's change our configuration and uh, do our lab for today in the original packet we already discussed source address i make it any and uh, in the translation packet which is important for us today our options are available as dynamic ip and port okay what happen exactly in the dynamic ip and port address translation that my public ip is stay on my outside interface only and my traffic is netted based on the ports okay so because we have hundred of thousands uh, ports available which randomly assign on each session to go from inside to outside okay and my internet uh, is reachable from my inside network without exposing one my internal network so my internal ips does not uh, uh, expose to outside world except the public ip and the net address this lab we already did it in the beginning we will do it again quickly but my focus is on the dynamic app uh, dynamic ip static ip we already done it okay in very brief so let's uh, see the options available as a dynamic ip another thing with source address translation is always from your trusted network okay there is another thing destination address translation this de destination ad address translation is always from outside to towards your inside either dmz or your inside trusted network okay so in the next session we will do the lab for destination address translation as well and we will see how my traffic will move from my outside which is untrusted zone to my inside 
trusted zone so then we will work with the destination address translation in today we will work with the source address translation the source address translation is also called pre nat because this is not the nat is not happened so we call it pre nat so in the destination ip let's see over here what happened in the destination dynamic ip in this option i need to have a multiple public ip or a pool of ip addresses to make it nat from my inside to outside or from dmz to outside so whatever ips i will mention in the dynamic ip i can have those number of specific session for example for my uh, dmz right now i make it uh, from dmz yes dmz to outside i have three uh, two servers vlan 10 and vlan 20 but i will allow just three ips to make it nat okay so i will take the public ip pool from the same subnet which i have or if i have alternative subnets i bought from the from the isp i can assign over here so for now i will put it 192.168.100.5 and i'll put the range 192.168.100.6 okay so this is i put as a pool let me delete this one okay okay so this is my pool so i have two ips i can do one thing i can add uh, one more ip here as 192.168.100.10 okay i just make a different shape so i will build a three session two from my servers and one session i will uh, uh, initiate from my dmz search site so i can provide the range i can provide a single ip or i can provide a subnet 192.168.100.0 slash 24 in this way okay so all options are available so what i will do now i will just keep it here i will remove this subnet okay so i have three ip five six and ten i'll make it okay Let me commit. So finally, our configuration committed successfully. Let me connect on the Palo Alto firewall through my putty session. Okay, so this is my putty session with my Palto firewall. We put it command here. Show session all. Okay, so this is my session. This command show session all will show me the session built for the net. I will give one command clear session all. Okay, to make it clear. So this is my basically uh, interfaces which already mentioned from DMZ to outside and uh, from inside and from outside. Okay, there's another command show IP pool, show running IP pool. Okay, this command will show me what I have configured on my interfaces for the NAT. So right now from DMZ to outside, I put dynamic IP and my available IPs are three, which is five, six and IP 10. Okay, and from inside to outside, still my settings are with dynamic IP and port. And these are the available ports. Okay, 129,024. This is the session I can build with the dynamic IP and port. So uh, I will do one thing. I will connect with my web server over here and I will connect my branch router, which is connected with my internet router. Okay, OSP is, OSPF is already configured on uh, on in between my internet router and branch router. And uh, in between my internet router and Palo Alto also the OSPF is there. Okay, so reachability is available already. So I'll click over here. I will just make a session 
of putty i'll make it 85 85 85 85 i have connected with my van router show ip interface brief exclude and assign okay so these are my interfaces which are already reachable with my internet show cdp neighbor okay so it is my internet router with gigabit 0 slash 3 so now we'll see on the palo alto firewall side i'll go over here let me check with this command with the pool so i'll make it show running ip pool and my one ip is in use out of three okay because my session is available so let me do one thing uh, let me make another session from my vlan 20 and connect it with my branch router i'll make it zoom Okay, so this is my second session with this one. Show CDP neighbor. Okay. So let's come over here with the Palo Alto and see the availability of the IP pools. So I will do the same command. And this time my two IPs are in use out of three. So I have built two sessions. Okay. Let me make another session from my DMZ switch side. To my branch router and then we'll go into the description of this NAT. Show IP interface brief is my first command okay to see the IPs. So I will do one thing I will connect uh, I will connect telnet 85 85 85 85 okay so my session will be built with this IP 192.168.150.2. So guys, in the dynamic IP, I have utilized my three IPs. Let's see over here. Show running IP pool. So I have consumed my all available IP. So now if I try to make another session, it will not allow me because there is no IP left. Okay, this thing we will check with our internet from my inside zone. Okay, so right now just uh, review this uh, configuration. I will make it now show session all. Okay, so if you see over here, my first session I built from 192.168.10.100. So this is my session ID. This is the application I use to connect with my branch router. State is still active and the type is flow and flag is NS, netted source. Okay, this NS is, NS is the identity that my netting is right now is working. So what happen right now exactly this is my source ip as 192.168.10.100 which is my uh, this subnet for web server as a vlan 10 as a vlan 10 which is this my third octet is the identity of my server subnet and the ip is 100 and this is my port which is my source port zone is dmz with protocol number six okay and this ip 192.168.10.100 translated towards 192.168.100.5 which is my dynamic ip first ip okay and you see over here there is no change in the port side so it's mean the netting is happened based on my ip address which is my range and it is translated towards 8585 as a uh, SSH port number 22 in the outside zone. Okay, so there is no change in the destination side, but from the source NAT, which is pre NAT, this netting is happened successfully. Same thing with my second, which is my VLAN 
20 okay my second server if you see over here my source is this one this is my source pay, uh, port without any change and dnz and it's mapping towards 192.168.100.6 with the same port okay so i utilize my second and the third is from my router side which is 192.168.150.2 with the same port there is no change in the port and only change happen as a 192.168.100.10 which is my dynamic range of IP. So my, my dynamic address translation happened successfully without any issue. Okay. So in the second section with the inside zone, I will just uh, arrange the three additional IP for my three devices. And then we will try to make session with the fourth uh, end user. And we'll see that our translation is happen or not. And what is the solution? Okay. If my range is uh, exhausted, I does not have the IPs. What is the solution for this one? So let's go back to my Palo Alto. I'll go to inside to outside. Okay. The same uh, configuration is uh, no change. In the translation packet, I will change it to dynamic IP. And I will mention here 192.168. 15 dot, uh, sorry, 100 dot 15 to 192, 168, 100 dot 16. Okay. So I just mentioned here two IPs with the dynamic IP translation type. So two IP 15 and 16 are, are avail available here. I'll make it okay. Let me commit and then we will go to our lab. So the configuration committed successfully. Let me move over here. Okay, another thing uh, in the DMZ to outside, if you see over here, there is hit count seven. Okay, so my hit counts are working. So uh, right now I have one and two, one six eight, hundred fifteen and sixteen av available. I will do one thing. I will just quit my. Uh, I'll keep this session uh, continue with this uh, from the DMD side, and uh, let me go over here. Okay, guys. Uh, one thing which is noticeable, if you see over here, before it is dynamic IP and port from inside to outside. But this time, after configuring that uh, the range of dynamic IP instead of ports, we'll see our this option will be changed now. Okay, so I will just mention show running IP pool. So see guys, this is changed now from dynamic IP to uh, dynamic from dynamic IP port to dynamic IP, and I have two available addresses okay from inside to outside so uh, let me make a session from my db server to consume my ip it is 585 Okay, show IP interface brief. So this is my WAN and this is my internet router. Okay, I will make another session as well from print server. Eighty five, eighty five, eighty five, eighty five. Okay. So now let's go back to Palo Alto Firewall. So show IP pool. I have consumed two IPs with the available of pool two. Okay. So there is no further IPs available. For further netting, I will mention here now. Let's see the result. Show session all. Okay. So uh, the first three sessions, this is related to my DMZ. And this session is going 
from uh, from here uh, this one okay this is my uh, vlan uh, 40 i'll show you over here okay vlan 30 and vlan 40 okay so uh, this is my vlan 40 netted source worked successfully the session was ssh with this id and the uh, netted source with uh, this source ip address 192.168.40.100 with the source port of 49168 zone is inside from inside side protocol number six and destination translated ip is 192.168.100.15 so my this ip will translate it to this ip and then my traffic will go with the same port towards this destination remote router so this router will see traffic coming from 192.168.100.15 not with this ip okay and this is my translated ip as a destination same thing i built another session from inside this is my inside from the vlan 30 with the same translation port from inside towards next available ip which is 16 and there is no change in the port types okay so it's mean my uh, my dynamic nat is working fine with the uh, with the available pool so let me check show session id we will discuss with further with this id i will use 375 okay 375 is my id so this is the description so c2s client to server flow okay so my flow is going from the source with this ip inside and destination is this one my protocol number is six source port is this one destination port this one and client uh, server to client flow is 8585 destination 192.168.100.15 so my uh, my server to client which is my router it is sending traffic back to netted ip okay translated ip not the original ip what is my original ip for 40 my actual ip is 192.168.40.100 but my 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 van router does not aware about this ip he just know about this ip because traffic is going after netting from 192.168.100.15 from this ip traffic is moving so that's why in the uh, the server to client flow the destination port from the van router side is this ip okay so it's mean my netting is work successfully and then there is the different information that uh, what is the application the rule type in the inside to outside which is right now in use and this is the netted rule inside to outside okay so this is my further information now let's move towards to make another session from uh my this server and we'll see that i does not have uh, ips available so this will not work okay so i will connect over here as a cctv uh let me remove this one okay okay so let me try 192 uh, sorry 85 85 85 85 okay let's see is time out or what okay network connection timeout i will do one thing i will just uh, enable the filtration and we will see the further results okay i will do one thing i'll go to my Palo Alto firewall i'll go to the monitor in the monitor i have a packet capture okay i will make it on off uh, manage filtration i will do one thing i'm going to add the filtration to uh, to capture the configuration packet okay my source is 10.10.10.2 and my destination is 85 85 85 85 and i will put another packet capture to reverse order 
okay from my remote router 85 towards 10.10.10.2 okay so i'll make it okay my packet filtration is on now let's go over back to our this one i will initiate the traffic from this cctv again and we will see then restart session okay so let me go quickly over here in this one now i'll check it show running ip pool so i does not have any pool now i will check over here with the result of the filtration okay so there is one command to check over here show counter global filter delta yes packet filter yes okay i'll make it this one okay let me initiate traffic again okay now i'll see over here show so before it was not showing any filtration so now i initiate a session and if you notice over here in the third row it is saying it is drop the session and session setup source net ip pool allocation error okay so this mean this is the result because of my this session because i initiate and there is no ip available so my session does not build and it's give me over here session setup source net ip port allocation error and it is drop so what is the solution guys for this issue now let's go back to our palo alto network policies inside to outside i'll go in the translation packet my solution is available in the same option as a advanced okay in the advanced side you should see over here i can mention here translated address or interface address there are two options available further okay in the interface address i will set if the ips are exhausted the pool is uh, there is no ip available in the pool just do the nat with this ip okay so the first available ips will be consumed and then there is no ip left it will start doing pat port address translation which was our this option as a dynamic ip and port okay so this is the fallback option okay with the port fallback so what i will do now i'll just make it okay i will commit Once it's done, we will see now. We'll see the results. So my configuration is successful. Now I will try to make a session again and you will see the results okay so this time i am able to do the session because now what happened port address translation pat is start working so let's come back over here with my firewall i'll mention here show running ip pool so if you see over here inside to outside uh my one ip is uh, my session is uh, drop i will do one thing i will just make a session again from db uh yes uh yes db and print okay so i'll come over here uh this is my db because my session drop restart session okay so first session is here second session i will build again from the print because it's time out okay 
and this is my third session from cctv so from the from the db from the vlan 40 which is print server and my cctv let's come back quickly show running ip pool so this is my pool available from inside to outside i have only two ips which is already consumed and from inside to outside for the third one it start doing dynamic ip and port and one is in use okay another thing which is noticeable if you see over here in the first option okay when i did not make a session my ports are 129024 available for the session but here i consume my one port and it's become 129023 so one port is less from this number okay so i'll do one thing i will build another session from my oracle server and then we'll see further okay so let's back quickly here up arrow so this time it consume another port as a dynamic ip and port dip and there is one more less port from this number okay here it was 129024 one consume here this is the port 129023 and this one is another port 129022 okay so it's mean my fallback option is working successfully in inside to outside in the dynamic address translation okay so this is option is working fine so let's quickly over here with the with the further description in the Palo Alto firewall i'll make it show session all okay so this is from inside to outside as a 15 there is no change in the port this is as a 30 with the same port in the source and destination and the important thing which is over here this is the important thing vlan 40 okay so vlan 40 is also my inside zone and if you see over here there's a change in the IP here. It is consuming the range of IP with the dynamic IPs is a pre uh, net source. And here is taking the IP from the port dip. Okay. So there is change in the port numbers now. So the next two session, if you see over here, this is also netted source. And if you see over here, source address is translating with this IP 192.168.100.1 with randomly port assignment okay so it's mean my this option is is working fine as a fallback 192.168.100.1 okay so there is another option available as a interface address okay uh, right now i put interface address will consume now translated address okay in the translated address i can add uh, assign one more address okay other than first it will take uh, this ip then it will translate it to 192.168.100. Uh, i make it 20 okay so then it will use this ip and we'll see that uh, with this ip address so i'll make it 20 it is okay i will commit let me clear my session i will exit from here and i will build my session again okay so the operation uh, commit successfully let me make a session first i will do from my db 85 85 85 85 my session is built let's see over here 
show session all okay so this is my first session as a it took the ip from my range 192.168.100.16 with the same ports then i will make a print server which is my vlan 40 85 okay so let's quickly over here show session all so my second session is done with the vlan 40 with the second ip assignment first 16 it took then it took 15 so there is no change again in the port side only the translated address with this one let me do my cctv session now Show session all. So the third session right now 30.100 is with uh, it's 16. This is the one 20. Okay. So in the 21, we start doing netting with the port addressed. Okay. So it just take the third IP 192.168.100.20 with change of port. Okay. So this means my fallback option as an IP is working fine. So I will make another session. And we'll see it will consume again the same IP 85, 85, 85. Okay. So if I come over here, show session all. So now there is four session. Okay. One as 20, one as 16, 20. So with 20, right now I have two sessions because two IPs in use. So it's it's using the randomly port to make a new session from inside to outside with the address of 192.168.100.20. So this is, uh, guys, uh, the configuration of uh, static uh, dynamic NAT. Let me check another option if there is another thing to discuss. Yes, the another option, we already utilized this one. Uh, we already done uh, the translated address. And interface address okay so this is guys we done our lab for today and uh, i hope uh, you have learned something and uh, it give you some information about the source address translation if you want me to quickly in the dynamic address translation it is the same which is the most famous method of doing netting from inside to outside uh, in this one i can also provide the interface address okay which is my one slash one and with my this IP in this one, it will start taking this IP with randomly port uh, assignment for every session. Okay. And for this, uh, uh, let's do this one quickly. I will clear my session. Clear session all. And I will take session show IP show running IP port okay you will see now what will happen Right now, I have uh, before I configure the fallback, so it's showing from inside to outside as a dynamic IP along with the dynamic IP and port for the fallback. This is my fallback option. Okay, so right now it's already done 99% show running IP pool. Okay, so it it uh, now it removed this dynamic IP and right now I have as a as a dynamic IP and port address translation. So right now, if I will run my setup. I'll just make a duplicate session. I'll just put it here. I've not entered the credentials. Okay. And let me check over here as show running IP pool. So you see here four session and four ports are in use as a dynamic IP and port address. 129.024, right now it's 129.022, okay? So this is the option for uh, 
for the dynamic IP and port. One more thing we'll check over here. It is the interface address. I can mention also here, also the translation address. Okay, in the translation address, again, I can provide the range, I can provide the IP, uh, and uh, it is just a difference that uh, it will just, uh, in the dynamic IP, we just put directly the dynamic IP, okay, with the range in dynamic IP and port, I can assign the interface and the translation address as well. Okay, so let me put the translation address over here. 192.168.100.20 to 192.168.100.22. So I have three IPs available. Let's discuss this my, my our last part of today lab as a translation address. Okay, commit. Okay, so this is done. Now let's see our results in the Palo Alto. You go here, show running IP pool. Okay, so again it is uh, showing with the same dynamic IP and port with uh, the available ports. Okay, so I will do one thing. I will just create my session again. My first session. This is my second. This is my third session. Okay, my fourth session, I will do one thing. I will just make one more session from my two hours, which as well. So I want a multiple session exactly. Okay, this is my two hours switch. Telnet 85, 85. Okay, let me took as a session from here as well. Okay, it will take some time. I'll go over here. Eighty-five, 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 eighty-five. So my 85 is now fully occupied from the session site. Okay, so let me check over here. Let me fix this issue first. No IP domain lookup. Okay, so this issue is fixed now. Eighty five, eighty five, eighty five, eighty five. Okay, so I have a session from my all uh, the interface devices. So now let's see our results. Show IP running IP pool. So I have a uh, I have built seven session. Okay, as a dynamic IP and port. Show session all. Okay, so there are all session. Uh, from my inside network, if you see over here, uh, I assign uh, three IPs from 20 to uh, 21. Okay, yes, I have three IP 20, 21, 22. So if you see over here in my results, uh, one session took IP as a 192.168.100.21. Okay. Uh, with the, with this source going towards 85 with this IP. Uh, with the, this netted IP with randomly ports. Okay, so my uh, my this uh, option is also working fine. The second session, if you see here, it took IP 192.168.100.22, a second IP with randomly port 
translation and uh, this uh, is taken taken by yes 20 20 this is 21 and this is uh, 22 where is 20 uh, 20 it didn't take until now okay it just take two ips and it's randomly select the ips and uh, make the port translation as well uh so guys we have done our lab for today i hope you have enjoyed this lab and you have learned something and please don't forget to subscribe and uh, like this channel and our next video will relate it uh, with the the destination address translation okay so our we almost done with our uh, source address translation as a pre-net so now our next lab will be destination address translation and in the destination address translation we will access our network from our outside towards inside and we we'll see how we'll make it possible with the best practice so don't forget to watch the next upcoming video and until that time take care and allah Hafiz. bye bye